Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here, welcome to my channel. And today the Nissan Duke, the dashboard lights and what they mean, the instrument panel. But before we get started telling you about all the different warning lights, we better have a lovely cup of tea. Oh, lovely. So here we are inside the Nissan Duke and let's turn on the ignition and then let's get started. Okay, so the first one on the instrument panel is the engine coolant temperature gauge. Obviously, if this gets anywhere near the top, near the hot, you need to pull over because you do not want to be carrying on driving if the engine is overheating. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. This is the fuel gauge. Again, if don't let this get too low. If it gets really, really low, then you start to pick up sludge and dirt from the bottom of your fuel tank, which is not good for your engine. And this gauge here is the outside temperature. You can change this to Fahrenheit, but this is set at centigrade and it's currently 18 degrees. Mmm, toasty. Now this light here only applies if you've got an automatic gearbox. So this would currently be in park mode. If it's an automatic gearbox, this shows you what gear you're in. And these are the left and right indicators. If both of these are flashing, it means obviously you've got your hazard lights on. CVT means continuously variable transmission. This is where you do not have a gearbox as such. It's just a seamless transition as it gets faster and faster. If this light is permanently on, it means you've got a problem with it. This is the airbag warning light. So get that checked out because you've got a problem with your airbags. This means your engine requires servicing and on different models, it may look like this. There is a problem with the engine oil pressure. Do not drive any further. Get that checked out immediately. Your fog lights are on. Foggy. This is the intelligent key warning system. This should go out. If it doesn't, then you need to get your key checked out at the local dealer. This is the tire pressure monitoring system. So if this light stays on permanently, you've got a problem with one of your tires. Just go round to all four tires, make sure that they are at the correct pressure. The all wheel drive warning light. Now this can be either this light or the other light. This means you've got a problem with your all wheel drive system. Get that checked out. Your high beam headlights are on. Very dark, is it? This means that the vehicle dynamic control system has been turned off, which means the anti-skid control system is off. So if it's very wet or gravelly and you put your foot down hard, it will spin the wheels. This is the vehicle dynamic control warning light. This will just flash on if the wheels have skidded or you've gone around a corner and it's wet or it's icy and the wheels are failing to get good traction. This is the battery charge warning light. If this stays lit, it probably means you've got a problem with your alternator. So the battery isn't charging while you're driving along. Get that checked out. This is the engine start indicator light. This basically means that you're okay to start the engine. It's normally only on automatic vehicles to make sure that you're in park mode. PS. Now this doesn't mean PS I've got something to tell you. This means PS power steering. So you've got a problem with your power steering and you probably know you have because it will be really hard to steer. Get that checked out. If this stays permanently lit it means somebody has not got their seatbelt on. Tut tut tut. Clunk click every trip. One of the doors on the vehicle is open. The brake warning light. This normally means that you've got the handbrake on. And on slightly different models, it may look like this. Now, if this ABS light is permanently on, it means you've got a problem with your anti-lock braking system. It's probably due to one of the sensors on the wheels which needs replacing. So get that checked out as soon as possible. And that brings me to the end of the dashboard warning lights. Hopefully that you found that useful and I'm just going to put up a list of all the other ones which are available. If you want to go into these in more detail, just pause the video. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. Really do appreciate it guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification button.